Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played a couple of days back. I was playing the as white and I played the London system setup. So yeah, please go ahead and do check out this complete video till the end and see how instructive it can be. Okay, it's started off with d4, open plays e6, uh, bishop f4, uh, trying to develop the bishop early in the London as always f5 by the open which is generally strange because weakens up the f7 already the diagonal is the target uh, as soon as you see f5 coming i played uh, e3 open gets to play d5 trying to hit the center next i went with h4 open plays knight f6 i went with h5 again the best move in the situation as well making sure uh, that there's no in tactics involved of playing the pawn forward and getting the bishop fiancado uh here open develops the bishop onto d6 i just tried to pin the knight there open castles and i went with h6 h6 is again the tricky part always con taking control of g7 as well uh, which do lead to some amazing checkmates eventually here my i went with knight f3 <coughs> sorry for that uh, and then c5 by my opponent trying to take control of the center i went with c3 opponent plays b6 trying to develop the bishop next uh, and here i went with a3 which is passive kind of but uh, preparing to play a b4 myself and trying to break open uh, the uh, a the c file so that i can place my rook eventually on the c file and take control of it now, before we proceed with this further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Okay, let's begin. Continue with this. Uh, knight comes on to d7. I place my bishop on d3, inviting a pawn forward move by the opponent, and then I can take advantage of that. But my opponent went with queen e8 there, just removing the pin from the knight. So I just went with bishop onto b5, pinning the other knight now. And here my opponent tries to kick that away. I still went uh, and holding onto the pins as long as possible, like always. So bishop to c6, rook comes onto b8, and I now get my queen onto a4. Open plays pawn forward, which means I have to get back. Now that is not really the ideal way. I shouldn't have played my queen there, but developed the knight because uh, placing a move that has to be retrieved in the next move doesn't make sense so i was maybe trying to save some time there because i had taken some time already in the beginning where my opponent was fast so i was trying to cover up on that as well so maybe that was the reason i played it uh and then my opponent plays c4 finally which i wanted him to play from long back i take on the knight with the bishop open takes back with the rook i go with knight g5 uh and then opponent sidesteps the queen from the pin and i take on the other knight as well with my bishop and finally develop my uh, the other knight as well on d2 here my opponent went with e5 pawn break and i trade here opponent takes back with the bishop i get a chance to maneuver my knight onto f3 hitting the bishop straight away opponent uh, now continues with his pursue because my king is in the center he wants to break open the center as soon as possible that's why i pawn forward now again if i take that's going to be bad because queen is hitting with a check i can defend uh queen can sidestep and get the rook as well in between eventually uh, right now my knight controls the square so open the best move is to save the queen and then get the other rook in between hitting the queen uh and of course i can't castle queen side as well and if i castle on the king side i don't know how safe it is right now because my h pawn is too much advanced already so that's why 2.6 in favor of black if the trade happens which doesn't in the game and instead i went with knight takes bishop on e5 and then queen takes back and then i get my other knight back hitting the queen again so that queen has to move which now my queen uh, my opponent places on e4 and i trade the queens as well that's how i just release the pressure again now as soon as the pressure is built all you need to do is find out the right trades and then i went with a knight to d4 make, making sure that 
the center file is at least closed and I can castle queen side and get my rooks uh, connected together. Open tricks here, I take back and then bishop onto g4. Open knows that I'm going to castle queen side. So prevents that by placing uh, the bishop over to g4. I went with uh, exchanging the rooks at least, uh, just trying to make sure that there's less pressure thereafter. Uh, and then the rook comes onto the f file, the open file. And then uh, here I place my king onto g1 with ideas of uh, ex exchanging the rooks because once that happens, I feel confident in an end game with my knight. Uh, yes, my opponent has the bishop, but the disadvantage my opponent has is my all my pawns, important pawns, which are controlling my opponent pawns, are on dark squares. So the light square bishop will be ineffective. That's a bad bishop for my opponent. And this is a strong knight because my opponent will not be able to save all the pawns with my knight dancing around the board. So here opponent tries to go back uh, and defend the pawn. Um, also he knew that I will be going for rook exchange. So just sidestepping that trade uh, as soon as possible. I took control of the f1. Uh, opponent tries to open up the situation from the queen side now trying to advance pawns. But here, rook comes on to f4, hitting the bishop. And when I was playing this, I was, I, I somehow knew that my opponent can make a mistake here, which is a bishop on to h5, and that's what happens. It's a bad mistake because suddenly it's met with g4. You are trying to hold on to a wrong diagonal. You should go back. Also, the, my opponent's confusion was maybe where to keep the bishop because this is controlled. This is also controlled by the knight. So open hand just got a couple of pieces and if he just goes to the last rank, that's also uh, bad because it can be pressurized eventually with my knight and uh, rook there. Also the pawn is hanging. So even if my open doesn't blunder the mistake, uh, the bishop here, open was on the losing verge uh, by now itself. But my open does play H bishop h5 and I uh, retaliate with g4. And then bishop goes, open does take the pawn, I take back, opponent gives a check, I just run up, another check, and then there's no check also coming, open trades, of course, the pawn finally. And then I took on the pawn with my rook, opponent tries to take on my pawn, but I defend that with the knight, opponent hits the knight, and now I defend the knight with the rook, taking control of the fifth rank, making sure that I can uh, take a pawn as well on h5 eventually. After my open moves, king f7, I take the pawn, open comes up, I just go back. Open takes that pawn, but doesn't matter because I'm well, way advanced here. And here the final blunder of the game, open plays her rook onto uh, b4, I take, open takes back, I take. And now, of course, there's no threats because I have a couple of pieces, I have a couple of pawns. That's too strong to win any day. That's what happens eventually after some moves. I give a check, I come back to control the queening square. Uh, the knight takes on the pawn, uh, open plays king there, and pushes pawn forward, which was the last move, because that's a checkmate with the rook and king. So yeah, that's how quickly things can change. Uh, all you need to do is, when under the pressure, exchange stuff, make sure that your position is better. And once your position gets better, then you retaliate with some good moves in between and then you can always win games on a very easy basis. So trades were important in this game as well. H6 played its own part and I won this one. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel please if you haven't already by now. It's very important for the channel to grow. So thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.